Hi, welcome to Doris and Kids. Uh, my name is Doris if you're new here. So this video is going to be different than what I usually post. Um, I'm not going to edit it, so <laughs> it's just going to be my feelings. I've been talking. Um, so if you haven't noticed my accent, I am from Liberia. I was born and raised there. And I grew up in the height of the Civil War. So it was very interesting, traumatic time for me. <laughs> But my topic uh, that I want to talk about is mission work. Um, this, the summer is about to come out. Everyone's planning on going on a mission trip and mission work. Uh, last year, my 15-year-old daughter went on her first mission trip. And you're thinking, oh, she's going to try to convince her to do mission work. No, that is not what this video is about. This video is basically telling about my bad experience I had with missionary and why uh, before someone, before you do a mission work, please think twice of the effect it's going to have on these people that you feel like you're helping when, you know, you're really not. Okay, so... It took a lot of prayers and a lot of talking for me to allow my 15 year old to go on her first mission trip. And when she came back, she agreed with me with a lot of things. She was like, hey, the, lot, the money we spent, in order that they could have just paid a contractor to help those people. But she's still going on a mission trip this year. So I think she had fun and with her friends, with the church members and the people. You know, that is great and stuff. And her mission work was in this U.S. It wasn't out of the country. So that was another thing. You're gonna do mission work please try to do mission work in your backyard because a lot of people in your city in your state that need you more than the people outside you can do way better help locally than trying to go outside the country and let me explain to you why okay i was in the orphanage for maybe one to three years and i try to black that out and my years is a little blurry when it comes to things that happened to me when i was little because a lot of traumatic stuff happened to me and apparently your brain does that you know kind of blur stuff out but when i was in a missionary but not missionary when i was in a in the orphanage and I wasn't there because I didn't have parents I was there because my grandma was taking care of me and she's taking care of a lot of other kids and it makes sense to her to put her own granddaughter in the orphanage the other people kids that was with her so I was the lucky one I ended up in the orphanage and because the reason she was putting me in the orphanage if it was better off for me I would be able to have food I'd be able to be able to protect me you know take care of me and things like that that's what a lot of people think of orphanage you know that's that's what orphanage is built for to take care of kids so she put me in the orphanage and while I was there for a week out of the year we have missionaries came over and when I was little there was Asian black and white people so my race description may they may be Hispanic missionary that came over but to me they're all white so this white people come for like a week Okay, they spoke English, which is great because I was from an English country. So they either from the U.S. or Britain or English speaking country somewhere. I don't know where they're from. But for a whole week, they'll come and do mission work. And the mission work entail of them feeding us, you know, bringing a lot of, lot of, the, lot of used clothes. A lot of them was new and it had tag on it, but a lot of clothes. Which was name brand because I learned what the jumping man was. Now I know it's Jordan. But I had a lot of Jordan shoes and shirts, Gucci and name brand stuff. I didn't know what it was. And I had like bags and bags of clothes and bag and bag of shoes and the people was there. And for a whole week, we smiled, we were happy and they took picture and then they left for that week. And we found a relationship with those people and they left and we never seen them again. So that's another thing. You are going to a country with a child that is dealing with war probably, that's dealing with war, probably, I can't even say. Ah, we're dealing with war and a lot of things. People are leaving, a lot of people are getting killed and you're just gonna come for a week from a, a strong attachment. To that child and then just leave like that is not a very good thing to do um but that happened a lot and but the thing i want to talk about i don't want to talk about emotional attachment that the child built with you and then you're gone you know you're gone that's something else i want to talk about what happened when the child when you leave to that child so i got those bags and bags of clothes and shoes when you were gone for a week after that week and you came and took picture you're all happy and stuff when you're gone i had to sell these clothes Go in the market and try to sell these clothes try to sell the shoes because one a child in the orphanage does not need bags and bags of clothes one outfit and shoes is all i need i need food i need shelter and he did not provide he did that for a week but when you're gone i had to sell all these clothes that's how the orphanage ran when you left the kids that received the clothes they had to go sell their own clothes and then whatever money they got that's what was used to buy food okay the next day so I'm not talking about the day you sell. I'm talking about the next day. And I went to bed hungry because some days I couldn't sell clothes. Okay. Some days we couldn't sell anything. Went to bed hungry. Um, and it was not a very good thing. <laughs> um, we went to bed with no um, lantern to buy currency because we didn't have money to buy currency. So it was dark because it needed money for that because it no electricity. So it needed currency for the lantern. We didn't have money for that. So it was dark. So we had to sell this clothes. Okay. All this clothes. So. What you could have did instead of doing that, it takes you 
resources donations or buying for you to have these clothes so people donate clothes and when they donate you have to wash your buying laundry detergent to wash your clothes that's money you could have put aside you're buying some of this clothes because someone they had tag on it okay you're paying to package those clothes you're paying to ship those clothes you're paying for your transportation fee okay right now it's about thousand dollars to fly from the u.s to um liberia um so i'm gonna say back then maybe five hundred dollars per person so you're paying five hundred dollars per person to fly and then five hundred dollars back that's a thousand dollars and then you're paying transportation from the airport to the orphanage that you're going to and then you have to get your food to eat while you're there um so and you have to pay somebody to drive you around so you can experience the local culture and things like that all of that money we have 15 15 to 20 people there okay so that's about 20 grand for just transportation fees almost 20 grand transportation fee um yeah 20 grand <laughs> i'm hard about doing math so 20 grand you could have take 10 percent of that okay 10 percent of that and just send it to the orphanage and we would have been able to have food for a year so that whole 51 weeks that you were not there that is what we're doing we're trying to sell things useless things because clothing near brand shoes and clothing was useless to a person in the orphanage very useless and i was not like oh you know i don't like how this fit no i did not need it that because i was not worried about looking good i was not worried about having a brand new shoes having a brand new clothes i was worried about where am i gonna sleep where am i gonna eat is it gonna be light tonight those were the things i was worried about now how i look i know that maybe your western i think you feel good your, your life feel good but that was not what i was thinking about I was little i was thinking about how i can eat so i had to sell those things so my point of this video okay this is not to judge you and tell you you're a bad person this is just to tell you you're ignorant to the fact and the effect that is caused on kids emotional attachment now you're breaking you spend a week with a person that child and you're breaking attachment you're never going to speak to them again hear from them okay they're already dealing with people leaving a lot because they're in a war and people die during war i know this, this is a horrible thing but people die during war so that child is losing people around them and then you come and find it you know have attachment that child now you're leaving now they have a emotional issue where it's hard for them to have friends because they don't trust if they're going to stay around and that is something i have like it's hard for me to make friends because I don't trust they're going to stay around. They're probably going to leave in a week or two because of what I experienced. And I'm 34 years old. It's something I'm going through therapy to work on as well. Trusting people that are going to stay around. Like, I don't have... People around me can tell me they'll try to be friends with me and I'll just push them away. I'll talk to them, but I won't have a deep relationship with them because I'm fearful that they're going to leave the next day. And I created that being an orphanage because people left a lot. Okay, so think about that. Second, think about what impact you're gonna have on all the used stuff you're taking from your country to another country that don't need it so now you have a inf you have an inflation of clothes everywhere that is not needed now the people locally that make and sell clothes they're losing income because you have all these extra clothes that they're selling for cheap trying to survive so they're losing income so that's impacted their family as well because they can't sell what they make that's the way they get the income and the livelihood so now you're disrupting that okay you're disrupting your child like mental health you're disrupting your whole economic system in that country and you you don't know about it okay it's an ignorant thing it's not like oh you know i don't know maybe you knew and decided to just go to mission and trade but a lot of people that go to mission and trade don't know all of this like the impact they have and some orphanage or organization make kids smile while you're there to make them seem happy to make you feel good while you're there you don't know about that but now you do so if you, before you, you volunteer or go on a mission and you're outside the country, try to do mission work in your local community. Like there's so much stuff I see around Abilene that people can do instead of leaving this the city. So much stuff that they can do. We have homeless people, we have teen pregnant kids that need help, they just need someone to talk to and things like that. There's so much stuff in your local city you can get involved with that doesn't involve you going across the continent and trying to help it's not, a, it's not a bad thing but if you're going to build school make sure they have teachers and books for those kids to actually learn and use that school building instead of leaving it there empty after your mission trip and it's not being used and it landed just there and these kids that have hopes and dreams that are going to go to school can't go to school if you're going to go to the orphanage make sure those kids have food to eat for the rest of the year instead of just that week and think what does a person in an orphanage need or what does a person a child that don't have a parent or a child that is dislocated, displaced by war or things that are going on, what do they name? 
think about that before you go and do a mission and work outside, okay? Please, think about the impact you're going to have on kids, especially if you have kids involved on your mission and work. Please think about that, okay? Thank you for sticking around. Remember, this video is not to judge you. It's not to call, to call you a bad person. It's just to inform you that when doing mission and work, it actually does not have the impact you think it might have. So look at that and see if it actually is going to have an impact that you want to have because you can have an impact out of the country. You just have to do research and see what's going to happen when you leave to that child, especially when there's a child involved. What's going to happen to that child? Are you actually doing God's work or are you just doing that to make yourself feel better? Because at the end of the day, the point of missionary work is to spread God's kingdoms around. And everybody in our uh, orphanage was Christian. We were born a we were born and raised Christian. So we didn't need to be turned to a Christian auntie. Okay, we were all Christian in there. Our parents installed that in us when we were little. Like I was baptized the day I was born. So think about that. Okay, the whole point of mission and work is to spread God's word and to help His children and to help people around the world. Think: Are you actually doing His work, or are you doing it for you? Are you doing it for how it's gonna make you feel when you take a picture to show off to people that you do mission and work? Are you doing it just how it look on your college application? Okay, why are you doing mission and work? Think about that. Then move forward to choose a mission and work that actually involve in helping people instead of actually not. Okay, have a blessed day.